Hello, Starscream again. Um, somebody's asked me to do a review of Snarl. Now, I did say I'd do the other Dinobots, and I did mean to get round about to it, and I completely forgot. And I'm pretty good at forgetting things. As you probably noticed with reviews, usually miss out most of the facts. So, here we go. Look. Ooh, dear. Come on, chap. G1 Snarl. There we go. Uh, comes in the second wave of Dinobots. Okay, there was three. It was uh, Grimlock. Uh, what is it now? Grimlock, Sludge, and Slag come first, and after we have Snarl and Swoop. Uh, apparently, the original Dinobots start to go slightly renegade, and they send these chaps to try and put them straight. On the face of it, they'd seem more powerful when they introduce them, but inevitably they end up not being any different. And Grimlock's the leader. Uh, he comes in in season one, like all the others, uh, an episode after, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's called, uh, I can't remember the name of the episode now. I know the first one's SOS Dinobots, and somebody's going to point that one out now, aren't they? Never mind, don't mind. Anyway, look. Um, he's not in the movie. There's a few shots of him in the background, okay, so he is in the movie. He never speaks. Uh, I don't think he ever transforms, but he is there. Um, Snarl. Out of all the Dinobots, he's the one he is... Oh dear. And the only Dinobots I think who... Well, I think they all want to return home in their own way, but he actually really wants to turn, return to Cybertron, which is funny if you read his bio specs, because he was never on Cybertron, if, if you go by the cartoon continuity. So, why he want to return somewhere he's never been? Hey, that's for me to guess it, I'm afraid. And he, dis he absolutely despises his Dinobot mode, He's, he thinks it's disgusting. Now, personally, I always thought the Stegosaurus, which I think is a dinosaur, is quite a nice uh, dinosaur to transform into. I mean, if I was going to pick one, obviously Grimlock's quite good, but um, yeah, I, I don't think it's disgusting at all. We're all entitled to our own opinion, though, aren't we? There we go. Um, something else to know about it. Actually, when I was a kid, this was the first Dinobot I got brought for me, okay? which I was really pleased with. I played for him for ages, and then I suddenly realised that, well, you know what, Sludge would be better because I always preferred the Brontosaurus uh, dinosaur to Stegosaurus. So I concocted this little scheme of mine, bearing in mind I was a very young child at the time, I think about eight years old, where I reported that uh, there was a problem here, and it wouldn't transform, because it didn't lock. Well, it actually did lock. Wait there a sec. Can you go away for a bit? There we go, I've always been interrupted. Anyway, yeah, so I concocted a scheme that he was broken, he didn't transform. So I took him back to Woolworths and exchanged him for the one I want. And for some reason they didn't ask any questions and I got uh, Sludge. But in all fairness, I think Snarl's a better transformer. Anyway, it's a little bit about his character. He, it varies in the comics, anyway. Apparently, he tr contracts a Transformers disease, which in which starts to sort of like decay from the inside out. And that's that's the explanation why he's not in the movie. But as we know, they have bits that where he is in the movie, just background shots. So go figure with that one. I can't be asked. Uh, it's a G2 variation, which I do have, and there's the world's smallest uh, variation. And there's an Action Master variation, and yes, I do acknowledge the Action Masters. I know I didn't include it in the Wheeljack review, and uh, just a point of reference, do have Action Master Wheeljack, but I wasn't going to include them because they don't transform, but there you go, there is one. Thanks for pointing it out, somebody. Anyway, shall I have a go at transforming for everybody? I dare say everybody's interested to know this. Okay, yet again, it was a Diaclone, and there's a chest panel for his Diaclone chap. I love the transformation of this toy. One of the heaviest ones, there's a lot of metal on this one. That flops up there, so that's covered his head. These back bits here. Oh, oh dear, I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> yeah, he's, he's a harder one to come by because he's got very flimsy legs. You see, they tend to snap. You can't see that because I've got my big fat finger over it. That, that goes up. And they tend to snap at that join. So there'll be a, there's a lot of uh, three-legged snarls going around, I'm afraid. Yeah, look, they push up together. In there. Get his legs. Rotate. Come on. Come on, old fella. I don't play with him much because actually, when I got him, he was mint in the box. 
It's not mint anymore. Another thing to note is he has more stickers than the other ones. Oh, come on. Actually, you know what? That's it. Don't push your legs together. You'll snap them off. I'm doing a good job with this, aren't I? There we go. Push him in like that. His head is too flat, bit, flappy bits that sort of stick together. And you just put his arms and... Arms? Arms? Legs. Where did I get arms from? There we go. And here we have... Snow! There we go. Snow! Yeah, that wasn't input. That wasn't purposely done, okay? There we go. The interesting thing to note as well is he's one of the only Dinobots who has no jaw. Okay? He can't open a thing. The only way he can do it is if you put him on his side and you flap his head open like that. You see that? And then he can sort of like swallow things like that. But that's not very good, is it? So no, he is the only one who doesn't have a mouth for some reason. I, could you have put one on the transformation design? I suppose at a stretch you possibly could have. But there we go. He's not an original... Uh, well, he's an original Transformer, but he's not from the Transformer line. There's there's another variation of uh, this one as well, where I think he's has got bigger spikes and sort of like different scales, and that's from another toy line as well. I think they made these ones originally, but I'm not quite sure um, where they come from, where they where they went. They're quite hard to come by. You'll probably pay more for one of those knockoff. Well, they are knockoffs, by the way. You'll pay more for that knockoff than you will for the original. Anyway, quickly, I'll show you the other ones. G2. As we can see, he's got red body parts as opposed to silver. Okay? Exactly the same way, very similar sticker markings, sticker markings, sticker sheet, stickers, whatever. Uh, that's again a very nice toy. Obviously, same transformation. And here we have World's Smallest Snow. Here we go, he's tiny. The sap replica of the transformation that the original Snow had, except you have to pull his hands out to transform him. You've got to be so careful with him. I do have the world's small uh, slag as well, but I forgot to mention it in the review because I'm not very good at remembering things as you probably noticed. And his action master snow. Did I just freeze for a long time there? I didn't go anywhere, it's just the camera. And his action master snow. He's absolutely crap, isn't he? Look. All he can do is a split. Ooh. That's uh, an elastic band. I'm not going to try that again. There we go. Um, I hope that's. Uh, Rounded out snow for you, a really nice transformer. Uh, these are solar panels, apparently, according to this te tech spec thing, where he draws energy from to re retaliate against his enemies. Yeah, now there's something you didn't know. Is he making a difference to you? <laughs> no. There we go. Okay, that's snow for you. I suppose I've only got to do sludge next and swoop. Uh, I might have to take time with doing the swoop because he's really fragile. His beak tends to snap off, and I don't want to do that again. I've got super glue on it at the moment and I'm not prepared to buy another one, not for a review. Anyway, cheers for listening, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you out there.